Changing the theme of your Drupal site in Islandora 8 is fairly straightforward, but does require updating a few blocks and contexts. So we'll start here by changing the theme from solid to another Bootstrap based theme called Bootstrap Mint, which I have already downloaded with Composer. So I will install it and set it as the default. And now when I go back up to my site, I see a brand new theme. But some of the content areas that I had before are missing. In particular, over here I've lost my mini viewer, my search box, my make island or button. So those were all blocks. And if I look at Islandora content and go into a book, I don't have my paged content viewer either. So we'll start by putting the blocks back in place. We go to block layout. We can see right away there are a lot of different blocks than were available in the theme we had before which is one of the reasons why our blocks are no longer appearing the way they used to, because they have different names, they're in different regions. So this right sidebar is the closest equivalent to the sidebar where I had my mini viewer block before, so I'm going to put it there. So I'll scroll down and find that region, and I'm going to place the missing blocks. So I want my island or mini view. I'm going to get my Make Islandora button, and finally I need to put my search block back in place. Here it is, place block. And within this region I can drag them around and reorder them. Maybe I'll put my Make button above my little mini viewer. And now that I've got those reassigned, I'll save blocks. Go back and have a look at my home page again. And there, my expected content's back, but I don't want the title on this one, so I'll give it a quick fix here. Turn the title off. Much better. And this one, maybe I want to change the title. So I will override it instead of mini view. I'm going to call it Islandora Recently Added because it's ordered by whatever was most recently created in my repository. And I'll have it appear just on the front page of my site. There we go. We can see that's not appearing on anything but the front page. So now it's time to update the contexts. So we go to structure and context. Here we can see a number of contexts that come with Islandora defaults, having to do with indexing, creating derivatives. What we're looking for is display, and in particular, any display that involves placing a block is going to be needed to be updated for this new theme because the blocks are different in this theme than the one we started in. So we'll edit this one. I want to place that OpenSea Dragon paged viewer again. In order to get the paged view, I'm going to have a peek at how things were configured in the theme I was using before. So I'm going to want this IIIF manifest URL, so I'm just going to copy it from here. And then go back into Bootstrap Mint. I'm going to place that block. Open Sea Dragon. And since I have that manifest URL on my clipboard, I'll just paste it in. I'll stick it into the content section and add the block. And now whenever this context is triggered, it's going to use the Open Sea Dragon block. All right, that's one of them. But the collection view is also a context-based block. So we'll have to replace that one as well. So we'll find the block in question, which in this case is members. Show all members of a collection. We'll stick that into content as well. Add that block. Save. And now we'll go back out and have a look at my site again. It's fine here. And when we go view a book, I 
I've got the OpenSea Dragon page viewer here. And if I have a look at a collection, all of the members are back in place. That block is appearing again as well. And now I'm using a brand new theme in Islandora 8. For more information about Islandora, including documentation, downloads, and an online sandbox where you can try it out for yourself, please visit us at islandora.ca.